Hey, welcome back to my Kiln Floor 2 SDK map making tutorial. Uh, just last time we made a bunch of walls and made corners. So now this time let's tackle doors. Um, the way I would add doors, and there's many ways to do it, but I would select the walls that you want them to become doors and replace them with doors. So you'll find it under walls, door. So there's multiple kinds of doors. There's the double door that goes in between two or go through the single door or the double door. And usually I select both the outer and the inner walls and just right click replace with door and there you have a doorway and you can do it on the other sides too so I'll select those two with the wall place with single doors Ooh -hoo -hoo. it's nice okay or you could also here's a little trick because when you replace the wall with this static mesh, this is considered one mesh. So if you're thinking, hey, if I just select all four of these and then replace it with that one, then you're going to have one here, one there, another one here, another one there. So you have to delete some of these walls. I'm going to delete these two actually. So it looks like this. It's like these two. And I have this door selected. So when I right click, go to replace with the double wall, double door. You just get one pair of these. Oh, how nice. Plus, you can even stick it in. And doorways. So if you go to door, you'll see all the door frames. There's a double door frame and a single door frame. So the single door frame, I'm actually going to click and drag. Oh, I don't want to drag it there. I want it to go over here. So I'm going to press spacebar, get that door out, move it in right there. We're going to do the same with the double door. So hit the double door frame, move it in over here, move this back to my other monitor, and rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to stick it in this one. And holding Alt, and move it over. So if you notice, the double doors. The double wall double door is actually in between grids. Um, each of these floor tiles are 320 by 320 and my grid size is currently 320. So I'm going to have to select half that 160 to allow it to fit right there. To snap in right there. Um, another option you could do is with the, the bracket keys. You can actually change the grid size. So notice it's up to 640 now, 320, 160. 80. So now I can move it by quarters, give it even more better control, but I move it back to 320 by the end. So now you got door frames here, and now it's time to add actual doors. Okay, so the way you're supposed to do doors is using KF Door Actor. So there's a lot of steps to this, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. So in the content browser, Go to Active Classes. Actually, Active Classes is different from Content Browser. If you go to View Browser Window, Active Classes, then you get there also. But it's in the same window as Active Classes. And find um, KF Door Actor. And so select it and drag it in. And this will actually be your door in your Content Browser. Find a static mesh of a door. Um, Probably an environment in your modular set. It should be a 
group for doors. So let's try this metal door. Okay, so I have it selected and open the properties of the KF door actor. And there will be two mesh attachments. Since this is a single door, I only have to do one, but basically you'll just repeat on the other one. And open up component, static mesh component, static mesh. With this selected, click the green arrow, voila. Now we have a door. Hey, how wonderful. Okay, but it's not lined up. So let's go change that then. So I'm going to open up the orthogonal view. And, oh, I'm going to have to move this down. It's like about four mesh, I guess. Actually, before we do that, we need to resize the door. So, even although the door looks like it fits, I saw in the forums here, uh, they said, under KF door actor, door frame for two doors, change to 244 for hinge doors, and 722 for sliding doors. Let's go change the door size then. So open up the properties, and under KF door actor, scroll down, you'll find this setting for frame size with two doors. We were told 244 for hinge doors. So let's do that then. Okay, so now adjust it based on that. Okay. I'll say this looks pretty good, right? For fitting in the door frame. No, time for this to fit in. I'll be like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, actually, I think it likes it better. Just moved over just slightly. Okay. So when we check it out, pretty solid. Uh, there's a slight gap there, but nah, it's fine. Alrighty. So now that we got that going, when we test out the door, we're only part way there. But I haven't built lighting yet, so we're gonna have to turn on the flashlight, and you'll see a door. But uh, there's nothing that tells us to uh, open the door or weld the door. Welding. Oh, hey, we can't weld it. But there's no welding. I'm welding. I okay, guess. So there's a few things we have to do. So we need something that tells us that we can open the door. So go back to your actor classes, and along the bottom, the trigger pawns only choke point. There's KF door trigger. So we input. Okay, door trigger here. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's open up the properties and it wants to know what door actor it is. So, first we lock it. So, by locking it, even if we click on here, this door actor's properties won't take over. Click that green arrow and we're done with the collision. So, now when we go up to the door, it will say, hey, we can open and close it. And I'll just show you. So now, when we get within the collision point, it'll say hold E, or press E to use, and oh hey, look at that. So now it opens. It's super quiet, but we can also well no one's but through you here. don't see anything. Well, Reopening. So, to fix that, Go to the door actor, open up the properties, and instead of mesh properties, it'll be the center weld component. And if you go here, static mesh for the center weld. So it needs something for that. So you would find that in, in the environment folder, environment door. If you go to mesh, you get that. So select that, over to the properties, click the green arrow. And voila, you can see this thing. But, but the weld's on the wrong side of the door. So we need to change that. So open up the properties again. In the center weld component, go down to the primitive component. And in translation, Y, usually I would think it would be about half the size of the two doors, plus a little bit. So. Not exactly 122, but I think 128 works. 
So yeah, now we got a welding animation. We can use the door. So let me show you. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. So when we go up, we can open the door. And we can weld, weld and the welding animation shows. Awesome. Okay, but the door is still super quiet. So we need to have it make some noise. Okay, so that would actually be under sound. And the sounds I believe they use will be under audio, ambient, burning Paris. Uh, let's see, large lever open. That would be the opening sound. And we need a closed sound. That would be large metal closed, probably. And we need one for destruction. So if we go to environment destruction, uh, let's go type in door. A destruction of door exploding metal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I won't be able to test if the exploding sound will work or not, but we should be able to tell. Yeah, so now it makes sound. Okay, but you're still not done yet. Uh, when you play with Zeds, Zeds uh, will not like to go through the door, cannot interact with the door. It's bad. So doors don't even have to be welded. So there's a few things that are needed. But one, it needs... If you go to navigation point, door marker, KF door marker, and slide it in. Okay. And move it into the door. Okay, so same thing as the door trigger. It wants to know what door. So first you lock it, select on the door, click on the green arrow, and that is good. Since it is a navigation point, I believe an attachment it usually wants a floor tile as a base. So I just stick one there and call that good. Okay. Now it needs it needs a path node on both sides. So under navigation point, go to path node. And stick one in there. Same with one over here. Another, actually, another way you can enter it if you don't even want to open up the actor class, just right click, go to add actor, and there should be a KF path node here. Okay. So let's open up the properties of that. Um, probably the only difference attachment. I'm actually pretty green on navigation but I see tripwire doing this setting a base for these so I I don't know exactly how much it helps but might as well do what they're doing you know okay so after all that now you should have a door that both you and the Zeds can use and the Zeds will walk through and then we can Oh, we're going to have to build pathing. So, build all, and we should be able to see the path. There we go. So now there's a straight path through the door. Zeds can interact with it. Blah, blah, blah. And get rid of all those errors. So, that is the really manual way of getting a door. The easier way is open up um, in your steam folder killing floor kf game boot pc maps sdk mod tools door template if you open up that map it will show you a template of all the doors that you need so the cheat way would be selecting everything selecting that I believe I selected that 
and the door is selected where the trigger is is the door selected? there he is so now the door is selected and everything so control C to copy go back to your other map and when you go over here you want to paste here and now all you have to do is rotate adjust I believe this is good maybe just a tad higher or something there we go and the only weird things will be where it's attracted to because now it's attracted to that square so we need to change that okay so that now this door should be working also so if you think that's easier and you don't want to go through the hassle of everything that I just did you can go ahead and do that so there you are that's how you make doors and killing floor tree oh I should mention even if you don't have a door like let's just say if this was a single door then you would still use the, the choke point trigger that will allow more Zeds to go through without bumping into each other and it will streamline in. So if there's a small cross space or something, you know, just put that there and it should go through just fine. Alright, that should be it.